Hi, Dennis. Uh, very good evening. Uh, the purpose of making this video to discuss four topics today. First topic, I'm going to discuss about this uh, post market analysis of Nifty and Bank Nifty. So, yesterday trade plan versus achievement, I'm going to discuss in this first topic. And second topic, I'm going to discuss about this Bank Nifty expiry strategy. So, which is uploaded last three weeks back. So, I'm going to update that strategy details also. And third, I'm going to discuss about this uh, trade plan for this tomorrow. And fourth topic is I'm going to discuss about this, how to select the option to avoid time decay. So these are the four topics I'm going to discuss in this video. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel and kindly like it and kindly share it to your trading community. And my trade plan is most of the times it works more than 80% of the accuracy and it, it may going to work out uh, more than 80% of the times. So I will show you yesterday trade plan versus achievement. First, I'm going to discuss about this bank nifty. So first, I'm given the plan for this uh, retracement opportunity from this level to previous day, high level, or this R1 breakout to R2 level. So these are the two plans I given uh, on yesterday. And if you see this price action, so price uh, trading around, uh, price opening around this level. So after that, some uh, consolidation price exactly reaches to the CPR level and take the support. And if you see this candle, so this candle is not an engulf candle, this uh, just bullish candle. So we can't go for the long. Why? Because target is very near. So this is not a valid opportunity. Okay. So after that, if you see this, this is a big parabolic candle and break the R1 level. So chances are high for this go to R2 levels. Okay. And where you will keep the stop loss? Stop loss is a big concern. Why? Because breakout candle low. Breakout candle is here. So breakout candle low stop loss is very big. And if you check these details, so I just want to enlarge the things and uh, you can easy to understand, right? So I'm clearly said that, so try to avoid parabolic breakout candles. Once come for the retracement, then take the trading opportunity. From if you see this level, so 38,520. So it was uh, 38,522. Uh, this is a 38,820. So almost 300 points of the moment. So I clearly said, avoid parabolic breakout. So wait for the retracement after that. This is a retracement candle, but is not uh, match the conditions. Either bullish pin bar candle or bullish candle or bullish engulf candle. So this is a bearish candle and this is a bullish candle. So we can't go for the long based on this candle. So this is also not a right opportunity. So after that, uh, price breakout will happen. If you see this, a 1030. So 1030 breakout will happen. And if you check this, one moment, traders. Yeah. So 1030. So this is a clear breakout. This is a R2 breakout. So conditions is easy to match. If you see this, uh, entry was 38,960. And stop loss below this breakout candle low. So 880. So 960 to 880. So almost uh, uh, 80 points of the stop loss. And what is the target? Minimum 2R. So 38,962. It went up to 39,190. So almost 230 points of the moment. So more than 2R is reached after that prices came for this level and finally closes around this level, but the stop loss is not a trigger. So that means if you are uh, booked that 2R, so you will be on profitable side. So trade plan is perfect. Trade plan always give for minimum 2R. Okay. So 2R reached around this level only. So 160, but it is went up to 190. So it went up to 190. Is already two hour profit is given. So this is a perfect entry. And this is not a uh, this is a parabolic entry, is not a valid entry, and here also is not a valid entry. So this is only perfect entry at 1030 candle. Okay. So now let's discuss about this nifty. So if you see this nifty, so nifty also price uh, gap up opening, and after that, see price uh, not sustain this uh, gap order. So again came for this. CPI range exactly take the support from the pivot point. But I'm clearly mentioned, of course, this is a bullish pin bar candle, but this is a big bearish candle is there. So it's not a valid for go for the long. Because of this, either engulf candle or bullish candle. So, so after some consolidation, if it is a bullish candle, so we can consider, right? So after bearish candle and again, formation of this bullish candle and this is not an engulf candle. So this is not a valid entry. And if you see this after that, the big parabolic moment, and this is not closes above this level. So this is also not a valid entry. And 
this is a engulf candle so this is a valid entry but stop loss is breakout candle low so this is not a good idea to go for the long why because stop loss is very big okay and if you see this this is a perfect entry so auto breakout so auto breakout we can go for the long keep the stop loss below this candle low and target would be minimum 2 or or next r3 levels and here also if you see this again one more opportunity what is this candle is the engulf candle if you see this this is a bearish candle and it's cover this engulf candle so these are the opportunities this is not a valid entry so this is the valid entries let's check for this valid entries and what is the stop loss and what is the target and if you see this this is a breakout candle right so 1035 so if you want to go long here so you can go long here around this uh, 17570 you can keep the stop loss so 17550 let's take this 20 pounds 550 20 pounds of the stop loss target would be this 40 pounds or if you are missing this opportunity you can re-enter the trade around these levels so this entry was 580 stop loss was 550 30 pounds of the stop loss now price went up to 640 so this is a 580 it went up to 640 so exactly 2 r is reached after that price is consolidation and finally closes around these levels so practically this both nifty and bank nifty is given this 2 R of the profit. So this is only 20 pants, but these are 30 pants. We can consider this, okay. So 30 pants of the stop loss is went up to this exactly 60 pants of the moment. So after that prices came for this levels and finally close. And now you can understand about this accuracy of the trade plan and accuracy of this importance of liquidity locations. Why I'm keep on telling for this liquidity location because of most of the institutional pair they are activated around these levels. So that's the reason I'm keep on telling this uh, liquidity locations. Okay. So this is for this uh, post-market analysis of Nifty and Bank Nifty. Now I'm going to discuss about this second topic. So which is the Bank Nifty expiry strategy. So Bank Nifty expiry strategy, right? So what are the conditions? First, we need to enter at 1 p.m. 1 p.m. at the money. C E P C E or P E or near out of the money P E. So what does that mean? So one o'clock we need to enter the trade. We need to buy at the money call options. For example, at the money call options is one thirty rupees, right? So we can match at the money put option also is a sixty five. So we we can uh, take this one lot of one lot of this call option and two lots of put option. So there are two conditions. First condition, if it is matching at the money call option, this is the ATM. So at the money call option, if it is matching this 130 and this is a 65, so we can take the trade decision or we can take this at the money 130 and near out of the money PE. So OTM PE we can take and that condition should be matched. Here is 130, here is 65. So then only we can execute the trade. So this is a trade and this is a 130 for the stop loss for 50% of the stop loss. So which is a 65 and there is no stop loss for this put option. And this uh, 12 weeks back tested data. So nine weeks is already uploaded for this uh, YouTube uh, uh, video and 27th January is given for this three close to 300 pounds of the profit and third Third February is given for this 215 pounds of the profit. And this nine weeks, out of this nine weeks, only three weeks are failure. So three weeks are failure. So that three weeks also loss is very limited. So close to six to uh, 7,000 rupees of the loss. But this out of this 12 weeks is given for this almost uh, 60,000 plus profit, 65,000 of the profit. So for more details, uh, you can watch this uh, expiry strategy video. So now let's discuss about this strategy. Okay. So one o'clock we need to enter. So where is the one o'clock? It's the tool one o'clock. If you see this, this is a one o'clock, right? One o'clock. We are enter 130. What is the strike price? 39,100. Let's check with this. Where is the spot price? So one o'clock. So one o'clock. So 39,150. So in between, right? So we can select 39,100 call option. 
all option trading at 130 one o'clock right and we need to take put option put option one o'clock let's check with this one o'clock this is a one o'clock right this is a one o'clock and it trading at 65 so we can execute the trade one o'clock this is for 130 buy and this is a 65 for buy okay so this 130 we are taken and stop loss for 65 so where is the stop loss 65 so around these levels so in this candle two o'clock sl triggered so minus 65 pants of this loss for this call option what about put option we are enter for this 65 so there is no stop loss for this and it closes at 90 it went up to 110 but we are taking the closing price so closing price at 90 so what price we are taken 65 so closing price is 90 so the difference is 25 pounds so how many lots we are taken two lots so that means 50 pounds of the profit this is a plus 50 pounds and this is a minus 65 pounds so overall loss was only 15 pounds of the loss for this strategy so very small loss for this strategy and whenever given this profits is the this strategy will given this sometimes 600 700 uh, pounds of the profit also it given okay so that's all about this strategy this is only 15 pounds of the loss for this strategy so now let's discuss about this trade plan for this tomorrow so first we need to check six important liquidity locations so what are the six important liquidity location first is the cpr Second is the previous day high, third is the previous day low, and fourth is the virgin CPR and gap orders. This is also virgin CPR and demand and supply zones. So, coming to this uh, recent swing high, it may act as a strong support zone. So, 39, 240. So, based on this, we can plan our trade for this tomorrow. So, price is closing uh, near to CPR range, and most of the people is not having for this uh, central pivot range. So you can write it down this uh, levels. So I will tell the levels. You can write it down. Okay. So each and every trading platform having this pivot band in between is the pivot band. Pivot band each and every trading platform is having, but this is the top CPR and bottom CPR is not having. So I'm telling this level. So kindly mark the levels for this tomorrow. So uh, rest of the things are same. This is a previous day high, previous day low. You can mark it and this is R1 is already available. R1, R2, R3, R4. S1, S2, S3, S4, uh, your trading platform is having, okay? So coming to this CPR range, so starting from 38, 861 to 38, 963, 100 points of the CPR, so wide CPR. And the distance will be 960 to 190. So almost 230 points of the distance will be there. So based on this, if any chances, price open near this area take the support from this cpr with the confirmation candle of bullish pin bar or bullish candle so we can go for the long and target would be this previous day high level so today high will become previous day high level so always check with the traders once match the risk reward then only you can go for the long or this type of parabolic candle so avoid the trade wait for the confirmation around this cpr levels so once match the uh, bullish pin bar candle or bullish candle or bullish angle candle, so we can travel up to this levels. So this is the trade plan one and this is the retracement opportunity. This is not a direct opportunity. And if any chances, gap up opening, price closes above this R1 levels. Above this R1 levels, we can travel up to R2 levels. And check with this levels, recent swing high. So sometimes it may act as some uh, rejection from this levels. So R1 breakout to R2 levels and try to avoid this type of parabolic breakouts. If any of this type of parabolic breakout cases, wait for the retracement, either retracement around this R1 level or this previous day high level with the confirmation candle. So we can travel up to this R2 level. So this is a retracement opportunity. And this is also, uh, if it is small candle cases, take this uh, direct opportunity. If any big candle, uh, this type of parabolic candle cases, take the retracement opportunity, either R1 support or previous day high support. So coming to this downside, if any chances price 
uh, open the same area and closes just below the CPR. So that cases we can travel up to this previous day low level. And here is uh, risk reward is matching. So we can keep the stop loss above the CPR level and uh, we can uh, uh, travel up to this previous day low level. But only thing is that, so 350 pounds of the distance is there. So risk reward is matching. But problem with that, if you need this type of candles, this type of candles, avoid the trade, wait for this retracement around this pivot point levels. Once get the confirmation of a bearish, bearish candle or bearish pin bar candle, so you can travel up to these levels. So this is a very important in trading. Okay. So if any big gap down opening, price closes below this uh, virgin CPR level. So this is a virgin CPR. Today price just uh, touch the CPR, but its candles are not uh, closest in the CPR. Touch the CPR, we can consider as a partial virgin CPR. If any chances price closes below this, uh, price breakout will happen. So after that price came for the retracement around this previous day, low level. So we can travel up to S2 level. And S1 is here traders, so S2 around this level. So once match the risk reward, then only we can travel up to this level. So otherwise wait for the retracement opportunity. So that would be the better. So this is for this bank Nifty. Now let's discuss about the Nifty. So coming to this Nifty. So already marked this important liquidity location. So based on that, we can plan our trade. So based on this, let's check with the CPR range. So in between is having this pivot point. This is a pivot point in between, exactly in between having this pivot point. Now let's discuss about this CPR range. CPR starting from this 17,532, 17,580. So almost 50 points of the CPR. And 582 here is 640. So 60 points of the next target. So in these cases, if any price opening here, this area, so wait for this retracement uh, opportunity around the CPR levels. So once price take the support from the CPR with the bullish pin bar candle or bullish candle or bullish uh, angle of candle, so we can travel up to previous day high level. So this is a retracement opportunity. Or if any gap up opening, price closes above this R1 levels. So we can travel up to this R2 levels. And remember traders, check with the risk reward. So try to avoid this type of parabolic candles. So once match the risk reward, we can go for these levels or if any chances, any big parabolic candle like these cases, once R1 breakout, so wait for this price come to this uh, previous day high level with the confirmation candle, we can travel up to these levels or price went to up to this level again came for the retracement with the confirmation candle around these levels, we can travel up to R2 levels and uh, we can keep the stop loss below this candle low and always check with the risk reward. Once match the risk reward, then only take the trade decisions. So these are the two plans for this upside. Coming to downside, if any chances price closes below CPR range, little gap down opening uh, price closes below CPR range. So wait for the retracement opportunity around this uh, pivot point level. So once you find any bearish pin bar candle or bearish engulf candle, so uh, you can take the trade decision and uh, the candle high would be the stop loss and always keep some buffer stop loss and we can travel up to this previous day low level. So these are the downside. Or if any chances, big gap down opening, price closes, price break this, uh, this also partial virgin CPR, price, price break this level, so we can travel up to S2 levels. So this is a S1 level. S1 level was a 17,474. So S2 level uh, around this level. So once match the risk reward, then only, this is a retracement opportunity. This is not a direct opportunity. This is a retracement opportunity. Once a breakout will happen, so after that price came for this level, so we can try to take the trade decision and target would be this next S2 level or this uh, gap order. So this is the plan for this uh, Nifty for this tomorrow. So now uh, important topic uh, we are going to discuss about this, uh, how to select the options to avoid time decay. So we need to select this 17th February options. Okay. So now price Nifty uh, closes 17605. So 17,600 is a spot price. The difference is the five points of the difference. So in these cases, if you are expecting market is going down. So that cases you can select plus 200 would be the better is a 260 of uh, premium. So the distance 600 to 800 is a 200 points of the distance, but we need to remove this uh, five points. So 195 of the intrinsic value. So trading at 260. 260 is uh, 
premium 195 is the intrinsic value is the 65 points of the time value so this time value available up to thursday so compared to couple of weeks now is uh, options are uh, options are stimulated so a little, little lesser time value compared to a couple of weeks okay and at the same time if you are expecting market is going upside so that cases you can select 17400 call option so which is trading at 270 so the distance of this is 205 205 is the intrinsic value now price premium is 270 so that means here also 65 points of the time value is available for this 65 points of the time value at call options so both are 65 points of the time value so once get this uh, high probable trade so then you can take that trade decision so now let's discuss about this bank nifty so bank nifty is 17 february so bank nifty closes is 39010 so spot price is 39000 so based on this 39000 is a spot price that difference is a 10 10 points of the difference okay and if you are expecting market is going down okay so that cases you can select 39500 put option so which is trading at 720 let's take 720 What is the intrinsic value? Is a of five hundred, but we need to remove this minus ten. So four ninety rupee, four ninety points of the intrinsic value. So the distance is two hundred and thirty points of the time value. So in deep in the money options also is having this higher time value. So unless until get this high confirmation date, then only you can take the trade decision. This, of course, this time value up to Thursday, but deep in the money options also is showing higher time value. and let's check with this uh, if you are expecting market is going upside so that cases you can select 38500 uh, call option so which is trading at 714 so uh, 720 let's take 720 right so the distance of this 510 pants so here is available 210 pants of the time value So two hundred and ten pounds of the time value for this call option, and two hundred and thirty pounds of the time value for this put options. So once get this high confirmation trade, then only you can take the trade decisions. So that's it for this. Uh, how to select the options, and traders, and I hope you are enjoying this video. So try to understand this trade plan. So each and every day trade plan is not the uh, same. So uh, CPR is different, and uh, locations also is different. Based on the location, sometimes I mean I give for this. retracement opportunity sometimes i am given for this direct opportunity so uh, if you are uh, try to mark this level this levels are very important so unless until get this only confirmation candle then only you can go for the long or short so that would be the better so that's it for today traders and uh, this channel main objective is helping to uh, retail and novice traders to become successful and professional and uh, thank you very much and uh, don't forget to subscribe this channel kindly like it and kindly share it to your trading community So this is Ashok Bhumara signing off and good night to all